That's it. Oh, wait. No, 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 wait. Sorry. I think there's a... There's a whole other page. Do you want to um, swap out? Four minutes. Well, no. There's, this is going to take longer than four minutes. Right, let me stop so that. We'll uh, roll the card ten out. Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll it. Uh, do you, are you double? Okay. <laughs> there's <laughs> about 15 more questions. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be as no, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Okay. There's nothing more fun than seeing a great scary movie in a packed theater. What experience are you hoping to give audiences with this film? Watching a scary movie in a packed theater is literally like being in an amusement park. When, when you feel those scares in the audience, it's just huge. And what's great about this film is it's creepy, and there are scares that climb under your skin and visceral scares and it draws you in ever so carefully and then just scares the holy hell out of you. And having that feeling with an audience is just, it's just huge. You get scared and then everybody laughs because they, they got so genuinely scared. So um, it, it's very cool. Uh, I know for the first film, Eli um, and I and a group of people movie hopped and we would spy on the audiences and pick out people that were just covering their face or covering their eyes or, right. Uh, but, and uh, it, it's, it's great, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Um, uh, I always like to say that, that The Last Exorcism Part Two is a wonderful date movie because you know, you're, you're next to you, whoever you're going on a date with, all of a sudden you gotta grab on, you gotta get close, it's a great time to bond, you can talk about things afterwards, it's, it's just, it forces intimacy. <laughs> well, The Last Exorcism Part Two works as a standalone, knowing the original can help audience enjoy the film even more. Uh, can you give us your own recap of the first movie? Yeah, I, um, The Last Exorcism Part Two is completely a standalone. Um, I think it's, it's helpful if you've seen the first film, and the first film is so scary, so why not? So much fun. Um, but you can totally understand it as, as its own film. Um, in The Last Exorcism Part One is about a fake reverend, uh, Cotton Marcus, that hires a documentary crew to explain all of his tricks of exorcisms and kind of show the behind the scenes of of a fake exorcism. So he comes to the Sweetser house and does a fake exorcism on Nell, leaves, and then that night, all hell breaks loose. Literally, all, all hell breaks loose. <laughs>
when and how did they approach you about a sequel? What were your th thoughts on the idea of doing a sequel? Did you ever think uh, you'd be stepping back into the role of Nell prior to the filmmakers approaching you? I'd always hoped that there was a possibility of a sequel. Uh, I always hoped to kind of step back into Nell's Doc Martens uh, and, and see what else the character um, could get involved with. Um, it was really incredible that opening weekend of the first film when, um, you know, the budget for the first one was, I think, under two million. And it was such a huge success in the U.S. and internationally that after after that happened and after so many people came out to see it, um, and I was nominated for both an MTV Award and a Spirit Award, so you had horror audiences, and then people interested in seeing a good character story and just a good solid film and getting some scares come to see it. Um, there was talk about a sequel, and 